my light. There we go. Hello, hello you guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you are returning, welcome back. So glad you clicked on another video. If you're new here, hello, I'm Erin. And today we're getting into another video here on my channel where I like to do all things makeup, books, and movies. So if you haven't been here and you're new, welcome. On my channel, I like to watch first, uh, I like to do first time reactions to movies and do movie reviews and just talk about movies in general. And I really love horror movies. I also do makeup videos. As you can see, I have a beautiful eye look on here today. And I also like to talk about books as well, um, which I've been throwing in here and there as content as well. And so we have a good time here on the channel. Definitely leave any video suggestions down below if you would like to and comment on this video if it interests you by the end. So today we're hipping into a good old fashioned haul video. Black Friday passed a couple weeks ago. This is maybe a bit late, but you know, we do what we do. So I'm gonna just share you guys share with you guys all of the makeup products I hauled for Black Friday. So if you enjoy videos like this, give it a thumbs up by the end and of course leave a comment down below if you know you want to. So Without further talking, let's hop into All right, you guys. Before products. I even start off with the Black Friday products, I actually got a couple things before Black Friday as well. I got this baby, the Patrick Ta um, for the face cream and powder. Is it cream and powder or is it all creams? I don't even remember. But I was coveting this thing. Shouldn't say that. <laughs> I was wanting this so badly because I've missed out on it on every single restock. And I finally got my hands on it yeah it's cream and powder so you have three just like the duos where it's a cream and a powder instead you have it as a whole face palette or cheek palette we have the creams at the top and the powder equivalent at the bottom these are so good from Patrick Ta. I have one already um, that I've previously owned I actually have it right here because it's one of my favorite products it is in the shade do we know her and it's kind of the like corally orangey one this is such a beautiful product with the powder and the cream combined. It is just like heaven on the skin. So I was really wanting this. I wanted it when it first came out, but I just missed it. I, it went out of stock really super fast. And every time it's been restocked, it has went out of stock. And I really wanted to order it from Sephora. So I've just been waiting. Finally, it came back in stock, but the Sephora VIB sale had already passed and Black Friday hadn't came yet. So I was like, I'm just gonna get it. I went ahead and just picked it up. So. That's the story for that one. I also, during that same little hurrah, picked up the uh, Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm. I did get some sort of, I think I might have used like some of my points or something, not my points, but like um, uh, my, uh, I have the support credit card, so I had some money from that as well, like a couple, like $10 saved up. So I got this for, it's like $18, so I got it for like $8. And this is the um, Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable, um, what are they, what is this called? Glossy Lip Balm. This stuff is so good. I've already used up a whole full one of these. It'll be in my empties video for the end of the year. And this is like one of the first lip products I've used up all the way. I got a different color this time because I had the other shade. I think it was nearly, it was like the peachy orangey one. Um, or the nudie one and this one is the nearly neutral so I wanted to try a different color but I really like the formula of this I feel like it is really nurturing and um, like it just makes the lips feel really nice and non-dry what am I trying to say so I bought another one I'm definitely excited to have that one in my collection because it's one of my favorite lip products now at this point it's a staple all right, now let's actually hop into the actual things I got for Black Friday. So the first, uh, I think this is the first purchase I made on Black Friday or leading up to Black Friday because the sale started super early this year as you probably would have been able to tell if you participated in Black Friday. A lot of brands started a week or even two weeks before Black Friday even came with amazing deals and Huda Beauty was one that had some really great deals that I just could not pass up on. I missed some of the... Uh, best deal she had she had so a couple of her palettes really low um, uh, heavily discounted and I wanted to also get the new powder she just came out with for her glowish line but I ended up skipping on those things just to get the naughty palette because I really have wanted this I recently picked up the rose quartz palette which is her newest um, 
big palette newest 18 pan palette and I absolutely love that thing it's amazing and I didn't pick this one up when she came out with it last year so like let me go ahead and just pick this up discounted while I have the chance and so now I have this one and the rose quartz and the mercury retrograde and I have to say Huda's big palettes are amazing and I'm a I'm a fan of Huda's palettes including the smaller ones uh, I have a couple of her mini palettes as well or her nine pans and but I just think these 18 pans are just something super special about them I'm actually wearing this one on the eyes right now as you can see beautiful and her, uh, her mattes and shimmers I enjoy both of them these are the ones with those little uh, funky shades as well though like the what are you calling these glossy shades as well I don't mind those I like a glossy moment or a cream moment on the eye as well I'll have to play around with it to see how it works best but I'm super excited to have gotten that and I don't remember how much it was presented I don't think it was super heavily discounted but it had a great percent off that I just couldn't pass up the chance to get it because these these bad boys are like sixty seven dollars almost seventy dollars so these are these are not cheap like the sixty something dollars for these palettes are that's not cheap so I was glad to be able to get it um, discounted next let's get into ColourPop I knew I was gonna make at least one order from ColourPop I have the box here in my lap cuz I have so much stuff all around me um, I really went a little bit ham and I didn't want to but I kind of went a little crazy but I had to go ahead and pick up a couple things I've been wanting from ColourPop just an assortment of different things so let's just go through them I've been wanting to try their new eye primer this is their party proof eye primer I got mine in the shade caramel so hopefully it's not too brightening but also not too dark because i don't like for my um eye primer to be like white looking like the abh one although i don't mind the formula of that one it's just so stark white so oh it's a doe foot applicator which i enjoy and the color oh that doesn't look too bad that'll do go it actually looks almost like it's going to go in transparent yeah so I'm excited to try that. I've been really into trying eye primers. I know that's kind of like a boring product. Definitely not the most exciting thing, but when you have a good eye primer, that can really set up your whole eye look to be good. And I'm a huge believer in eye primer. I also picked up the Scorpio palette um, from them that they did, the quads. I don't have any of the quads from Color Palette, so that's why I wanted to pick up at least one quad i got the secret life of scorpio because i am a scorpio and my birthday is november 1st and i also just really like the color story in this this is definitely right up my alley and those colors are just going to be beautiful i think this is so cute and i just i'm kind of a i gotta have every formula uh, format of palette from color pop so i also got a five pan from them and you'll see that one coming up um i got one of the jelly mud shadows from the um Nightmare Before Christmas with Times Color Pop Collection. I really do love this movie a lot. And I got the Nightmare Before Christmas palette from Makeup Revolution, which I did not love that palette, especially the shimmers. The mattes were fine. But I didn't want to pick up another Nightmare on Elm, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Nightmare Before Christmas palette from Color Pop. I was tempted. I'm not going to lie. I was tempted to get that palette, but I decided against it, and I just picked up one of the Jelly Munch shadows because I think these are a really nice formula that don't get enough hype, in my opinion. So I got this bright pink one. It's in the shade Shock. So I'm excited for that. These do dry out though very quickly, so I got. I know there's some different ways to revive them, and I've tried different ways that have worked. Um, so just gotta do with that information what you will. And of course, I picked up a couple palettes from ColourPop. I got the Lucky Penny one. I thought this color story was really pretty, um, albeit not wholly unique, especially not from ColourPop, but I couldn't resist myself. It's a really pretty neutral coppery tone and leaning a little orange, and I think this will be really beautiful and gorgeous on just an everyday basis, and you can spice it up for a day or a night. And lastly, I got one of the Mega Palettes. This is the Stone Cold Fox. I've been interested in this one, but I just didn't get it. And I wasn't a huge, huge fan of Cool Tones when it came out, but I've become even more of a fan of them. Um, I just really love all tones. Is that weird? I'm more leaning towards, like, warms or pinks and stuff like that. But definitely, I'm... When I'm in the mood for a nice cool tone or a smoky eye, 
I'll definitely go for it. I can't open this. Okay, so the Stone Cold Fox, it's it's a huge one. I just, I don't know, I had some regret not having this. So I picked it up, it's really pretty. It's such a pretty palette. And it has a lot of shades in it. I don't usually go for big palettes, that's just not my vibe. I like either a small or medium sized palette, but this is definitely pretty. And I was so impressed with their last mega palette that I had. So I figured, why not? All right, so that was all from my ColourPop order. Although I did tell you guys I got a five pan palette from ColourPop, but I didn't actually get it from ColourPop's website. I did an Ulta order as well. They had a really abundance of different deals. And I actually think I'm pretty sure I got these items on Cyber Monday from Ulta, not during Black Friday. I didn't really care for many of the Black Friday deals they had on Ulta, so I waited. And Cyber Monday, there were a couple of new different things. So I went ahead and popped um, some things into the cart and I'm pretty satisfied with this. First, I'll start off with these guys. I really love this brand. This is um, Dashing Giva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel um, Nail Strips. So these, first off, they last really long and they look really nicely, nice and um, they're really easy to apply. So I do these. I'm just been refusing to go get my nails done at the salon recently and so i picked up a couple different little sets of these i also like press on nails now as well and they last for you know maybe like about a week depending on how you apply them um i also picked up the morphe times mickey mouse uh mickey and friends truth be bold mini artistry palette i couldn't resist i'm a huge mickey mouse fan something something to note and so I didn't want to pick this up at first because Morphe um, don't really care for their formula too much and or them the brand but I feel like this just definitely embodies Mickey Mouse and I don't think I have any Mickey Mouse makeup and I had to rectify that I know Disney does you know collabs with like everybody literally anybody but I really do like this color story in particular because it's just like it's completely Mickey Mouse's whole vibe and I like the pack packaging was pretty cute as well and so I'm gonna try it out I'm gonna I'm gonna see I'm gonna give them a chance here um next I picked up I told you guys I have one five pan from Colourpop this is their cashmere forever little five pan palette and oh it's oh no it is okay I'm not gonna open it but oh man it's um gosh let me make sure I don't get that everywhere it is definitely cr that shade is cracked and this shade also looks like it's cracked I'll press it down I'm not hugely upset about it because Colourpop's shadows if they come a little damaged they're pretty easy to press down there's some though I've had delivered to me from Sephora and Ulta that have been completely just destroyed that I've had to get replaced but that happens this doesn't look that good either. I also picked up one of these little BH palettes times Iggy Azalea. Yeah, oh no, this does not look good. I don't, yep, I can't open that one either, you guys. It is also, yeah, Ulta doesn't, mm, yeah, that doesn't look good. So this one is also cracked badly. That shade is not going to be able to be saved. It's everywhere. I'm just going to put this back in the box because I don't want to get this all over my clothes or the carpet. So that's unfortunate all right continuing with my Ulta order I got the um, elf times makeup revolution um, setting spray I couldn't help myself it's elf I love this movie and I've never tried their setting spray so I thought this would be a cool little time to try out a new product from them I also got the Ulta beauty juice infused lip oil from um, their collab with Pixar I think this is the one with Nemo um, I just like I said I picked up like a lot of just little things and then lastly, I got the Bare Necessities palette. They actually had a better sale on these than ColourPop had on these big palettes. So I went ahead and picked up the Bare Necessities. So I have two big mega palettes. Was that a good idea? I don't know. But I will say this is another one I wanted and it's just gorgeous. It's pretty. I mean, it's just so pretty. So there you go. I'll definitely be using that. Uh, for some bomb popping. Oh, I forgot to mention one more thing I got from my Ulta order, uh, this Novel Secret palette. This was discounted really nicely and I've been wanting this forever. This is such a pretty palette and I've really become increasingly more and more a fan of Nabla because um, 
you know, I've tried their mini palettes or cutie palettes not too long ago, and I really have been All loving right, their right formula. Right next, I have. Um, picked up from ABH. They had an amazingly good sale as well. I haven't really bought much from ABH in a little minute. They haven't really been enticing me or keeping my attention too much. But when I saw this great sale, I did want to pick up the Norvina Volume 5 palette because I did see a lot of good reviews for this. And I have not been interested in any of the other Norvina palettes really. I mean, I have wanted a couple of them but not enough to spend the money for them but this one i don't know what it is it's kind of just purples right but i love purples so that was a draw for me and i just saw how many good reviews it was getting as well on youtube which of course i'll be the judge of that myself if it's good or not but when i saw that it was 40 percent off i was like why not you know now i don't feel too bad about purchasing it for 40% off because I did want it anyways. I know there's a saying, if you didn't buy it for full price, then you probably shouldn't buy it for discounted either, but I did want it at full price. I just didn't get it. I went for other things and now I got it. And it's really pretty. I'm excited to get that. I just realized I got a lot of big palettes. That's not my vibe, but apparently it is right now. I guess I'm, I'm into the big palettes right now. I also picked up a full size of their clear brow gel. I've always got the minis from them, um, but I went ahead and get the full size because it was, you know, discounted anyways. And this is probably one of my favorite brow gels, um, probably like my number one. This one and uh, this guy here, the St. Lux one, is really great. Um, there's another one that I love that's tinted. Um, there's a couple that I really love, but I do really like a clear brow gel. I just feel like it's great I have clear brow gel on today. I don't have anything else in my brows. I think it's just so simple and easy for me um, And so I picked that up and I also picked up the magic touch concealer. This is their new concealer I heard some great things about this as well. I'm um, I like trying new concealers. I really do. I like trying everything but um, I don't buy that many concealers though, even though I have quite a few um, But yeah, I wanted to try this one out. I got it in the shade 14 See, this is going to be a good color. Smell test. Typical makeup spell. Doesn't look too bad. Let's put a little bit on. I yeah, that looks like that'll be fun. Uh, a few more things to show. These are two different orders from two different brands. So um, I'll go into I'll go into this one first. So I ordered a couple things from About Face. I haven't even opened these things yet, but I really have been wanting to try this brand for so long. And finally, I've ordered, I did it. So I got um, a couple of eye, eyeshadow products. They're liquid matte ones and then the glitter ones that she came out with. I don't even know when she came out with these. I don't remember these in the original launch. I'm pretty sure she came out with these later. But this brand has just been appealing to me. I really like the aesthetic of the uh, brand it's this very like clean but like also like almost futuristic in a way and so I'm super excited and this is Halsey's brand so this is the fluid eye paint and this is a matte color um, these look very pigmented so I'm a little scared but I'm definitely willing to try I've been loving one and done shadows like every day almost and then I also got uh, for like work and um, so this is gonna be great I just need a practice out with it and i also got the apollo empire what is this called fractal eye paint so this is supposed to be like a glittery i don't want to open it though like in, let me see let's just oh oh it's a doe foot i love being surprised let's see let's just put a little bit there let's see what it looks like so that's great i thought that was going to be a squeezy tube which i didn't wholly love but i love that it's a doe foot Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. And the last thing I got that I have here, I actually had two more other orders that are not here yet, and I'll talk about those in a second, but the last brand I bought from was from Victoria Beckham. I've been wanting to try more from her brand. It's a very much like luxury, pricey brand, so it's like 
when you're thinking about ordering from it, you really have to like sit and think about it like seriously. I have the bronzing brick from her, which I absolutely love. It's probably one of my top bronzers at this point. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And I've been really wanting to try one of her uh, Lid Luster um, single eyeshadows. And these are a like creamy formula, not like super creamy, but they're like a cream pot formula. And I got mine in the shade T Rose. And first of all, let's just look at the packaging. I mean, just the packaging itself, which is fingerprinty, it's absolutely gorgeous. It just feels looks, it feels nice and weighty. It doesn't feel, you know, cheap or anything. You have a little thing here to keep it nice and, uh, you know, moisturized. What is the word to use for these? And there's the color. It's gorgeous i've worn this to work several times already so i have tried this out i i love this i love it and victoria beckham has not let me down so far for the two products i've tried from them i want to try more from her brand i do i really do but it was 20 percent off which is not a huge percent off and this was like 30 something dollars regular price so 20 percent off was a nice little chunk off for something that i'm just like i can't in my soul think to pay that much for but having that percentage off does help so i went ahead and picked it up and i'm i'm glad i did i think i would even pay full price for this it's so pretty on the eye and the formula is really good it lasts all day i actually wore this to work today i just took it off when i got home no i didn't wear this one i'm sorry i wore this to work yesterday i wore another cream shadow today but i wore this to work yesterday and it just lasts all day it's beautiful on the eye it goes with like every outfit you can think of so i'm i'm really Okay, I got that purchase. Also ordered some stuff from Refer. I forgot about these. I ordered two brushes from Refer. They had an amazing sale. I couldn't help myself. I so I went ahead and ordered some things from Refer. I got just two brushes. Um, because again, they're kind of pricey as well, but they're not as pricey as some of the other natural hair. I've really been enjoying them. So I picked up another 01 because this is one of my favorite brushes. I already own this one, but I picked up another one. It's never too, you know, it never hurts to have doubles of brushes. I can tell you that and I also picked up the 19 which I don't own and this looks like it'll be great for like powder or anything on the cheek highlight blush even so I'm very excited to be using this these um, the face ones I don't have too many of the face refer brushes I have more of the eye shadow brushes but I do enjoy the face ones I have and I just can't wait to get more so that was my last thing and I also did pick up some books for Black Friday but I usually do book haul videos separate and I also picked up a couple uh, presents in my thrift book order, so I don't want to spoil those before Christmas. So, but I did pick up some books so as that's well. All of the things I have here currently, I also made an order from Beauty Bay. It has not arrived, and I also made an order from Shop Miss A. It is in transit, so it should be here in a bit. Um, and I just ordered like some refills of my sponges and a couple other things from Shop Miss A. I always order like little like costume jewelry from them as well and um you know just some little things that I might need uh, makeup brushes or sponges or like stuff that I um, need to replace and they had a really great Black Friday deal it is already all the stuff is a dollar and it was like discounted even more so I went ahead and stocked up on some things um I also like I said I, I did an order from Beauty Bay that had a really good Black Friday sale um and that's pretty much it. I also have an order coming from um, Makeup Eraser, but I think I got that during, they had a little additional sale afterwards, like their Christmas sale or something. And they just came out with a Nickelodeon themed makeup eraser set and I had to get it. So yeah, that's pretty much all of my shopping I've been doing recently, guys. I really am probably not gonna do much more shopping for the rest of the year. I did just do an order um, from Sephora because they had their 20% off deal again for all members if you didn't know um, it's till the 12th so get on that I don't know when this video is coming up but I hope you got on that and I ordered the new artist couture palette so that should be coming in and something else I got something else with it but yeah that's I've been doing a lot of shopping and I need to try out all this makeup so be expecting some makeup videos for the end of the year and also some roundup videos for makeup I've been using through the year um, so yeah, be looking forward to a lot more content here in December, but yeah, that'll be all for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this, and I'll check you out in the next video very, very soon. Stay safe.
Adios.